Let's talk about transportable table spaces and cross-endian migration. First, let's just talk a little about the basics about the endian format. This comes down to the very architecture of the computer where the database is running. In a big endian platform, when the computer stores information in memory, it'll read from left to right, whereas on a little endian platform, it'll read the other way around. Now, this also applies in certain situations when data is stored to the disk. And that's why we need to convert the data when we go across endianness. When you go into OCI, all the platforms that we are using is Oracle Linux. Oracle Linux is a little Indian platform. So if you come from a big Indian platform, the database has to be converted into little Indian format. Not all options, migration options that we have does support Indian migration. So you will have a little limited possibility of migration methods. If you query the V$ transportable platform view, you can see which platform that belongs to the big Indian format. If your database is running on one of those platforms, you have to be aware of that and use a cross-Indian migration method. One of those is transportable table spaces. So before we dig into the details, let's just get a common understanding of what transportable table spaces are. So when you have to transport data from one database to the other, there are two things that we need. We need the metadata. This is information about the data. Which table is it stored in? What are the columns? What data type are the columns? Indexes, triggers, grants, PL SQL, and so forth. This is considered metadata. And then we have the actual data itself. Another way to visualize this is that the metadata is the stuff that comes out of your create statement, create user, create index, create trigger, and so forth, and also your grant statements. And information about that gets stored in the system table space. This is the internal data dictionary that contains the definition of tables, indexes, and so forth. In contrast to that, we have the data. Now the data you get into the database using insert statements or ops, uh, update, delete, merge statements. And that information gets stored in the user table space. In my examples going forward, I'll call it the data table space. And ideally you could store user data in the system table space, but you really don't wanna do that. That's really bad practice. So all your user data should go into a user table space. We have the two table spaces here, system table space and my data table space. From the system table space, I only need a subset of the data because the data dictionary contains a lot of other information than my tables. So I can get that subset of data out of the system table space using data pump. In contrast to that, I have the data table space, which contains all the rows. In the data table space or in, my, in, in a user table space, there is only data. And in my data file, there is only the data that I need. So instead of using data pump, I can just copy the entire data file. The advantage of that is that the system table space is tied to one specific database version. If you look at the contents of a system table space in 12.102 and compare it to 19c, they are completely different. On the other hand, if you look at the data table space from a 12.102 database and you've had the same data, uh, in the 19C table space, the format would be the same. So it's independent of the database version. It might not be the case if you change the compatible parameter, but that's out of scope for this discussion. So a system table space works only in the same version, whereas a data table space can be used in the same or a newer version. And the same actually applies when we talk about architecture. If you look at the system table space from a non-CDB database and compare that to a PDB system table space, they don't look the same. However, a data table space does look exactly the same and it doesn't even care whether it's connected to a non-CDB database or a PDB. Since we're using data pump to get the data out of the system table space, and we know that data pump works across versions and across architecture, and if you combine that with transportable table spaces, now this in effect means that transportable table space works across versions to the same or to a higher database version, or even across architecture. So I can go from non-CDB to PDB or vice versa. 